Hey everybody, today we're creating another art journal page using supplies from the Mixed Media Inspired subscription. Today I'm working in my Large Dilutions art journal on a gessoed background, and I'm starting out by applying a bunch of colors of Dina Wakeby Media paints. I'm going to be doing a technique known as dry brushing, and to do this all you need is a dry paintbrush and very little paint on your brush, which is where the name dry brushing comes from. To do this, you can see I'm picking up very little paint with my brush and then I'm brushing it off actually onto my craft sheet before I put it down on my page. And I'm going to continue layering colors until I'm happy with the overall look of my background. All of the names of the colors and the products I use in this project are listed in the description below. And once I'm happy with my background, I'm going to let it dry. And then next I'm grabbing a stencil and archival ink with a mini blending tool and I'm going to begin stenciling onto my background. The cool thing about archival ink is that it dries 100% permanent so I don't have to worry about future layers. Next I'm going to match up the stencil and now start going over it with white gesso to start to add some tone on tone colors within the stenciling in the background. And then after that's dry I'm going back in once again lining up my stencil and doing another layer of archival ink so that you can see I'm creating a lot of dimension within the background without adding a bunch of patterns and chaos. Next, I'm using a Posca paint pen to highlight a few of the flowers within the stenciled background. Now, you can decide how many of these you wanna do. I'm solely just going on my own personal artistic eye and how many I wanna do. And I'm working my way from top to bottom because I didn't want my hand to end up smudging the paint pen as it was drying. So by working from top to bottom, I'm moving my hand away from the wet pen marks and allowing them to dry. Setting aside the journal for a moment, I'm going to stamp a bunch of Julie Nutting doll stamps onto a piece of white cardstock using the same archival ink that I used earlier in the stenciling. I'm going to be stamping out the body of the doll, the hair accessories, and the shirt for the doll. I will not need any pants or shoes as they will be covered up with the idea that I have for the bottom half of her outfit. To color in the doll, I'm using Dina Weekly Media scribble sticks and a wet paintbrush. This is a really easy way to get watercolor looks with very little effort. So all you have to do is just put a little bit of water onto your craft sheet, dip your brush into it, and then up, pick up the color directly from the scribble stick and begin layering it onto anything, a stamp or even right directly onto your art journal page. And I'm going to keep doing this until I have everything I want colored in. So I, I, you can see I did the body, the skin tone of the girl. And now I'm adding in the shirt and the hair accessories, both the long hair and the little bangs fringe that goes in the front. After everything is dry, I'm cutting them out with my Fiskar micro snips. And then I can begin layering onto my journal page. So I'm going to put the doll standing along the bottom of a page just slightly above the bottom edge so that she will be able to have the skirt that I'm going to create with a bunch of papers. I'm gluing them all down with Distress Collage Medium, which is my favorite type of glue when I'm doing any kind of paper piecing, because when I place this paper down, it's going to stay exactly where I put it. It will not move as I move things around, which is great when you're doing paper piecing as the pieces tend to be a little bit more fussy. So I've layered all of the elements onto the doll and now I can begin creating her skirt. So these are a bunch of printed papers that I am ripping apart to create the layers in the skirt. And I've done different colors that all coordinate together. So you can see I'm creating the right from the edge of the top of the shirt and then in a normal A-line pattern that skirts would create more of a ball gown type. I'm going to layer all of these pieces of ripped paper until I have the entire skirt laid out. After seeing how the skirt and everything looks, I decided I needed a little belt. So I grabbed the stamp again that I'd used for the shirt and stamped it on some printed paper and cut out this lace border along the bottom. And now I'm going to glue this on to create a belt between the top of the shirt and the flowy ripped skirt, which really helped finish out the outfit. And now I'm just also going back into those doodles I originally did in the background and I'm adding in some polka dots into all the petals of the flowers just to have a little more interest as I was looking at it and I kind of decided it was too plain. So I'm just going in and put, you know, making little dots in each of the petals and also a dot in the center. Now I can begin writing out my quote. So I'm just 
using a regular Posca paint pen, this time in white. And I'm writing out a quote that says, train your mind to see the good in everything, which I feel like is a really positive message, something that we can all right now in the world, we need this. So this is something that I was really focusing on and thinking about when I was creating today. So I wrote out everything in white and then I'm going back in with the same green Posca marker that I used in the background doodles to just make little lines around all of the right side of my words to add a drop shadow. The most important thing when doing drop shadows is that you consistently add it all on the same side so that your shadows look like they're coming from the same source and not a different, different light sources and it looks confusing. So make sure you always put your shadows on the same side. And with that, my page is complete. I hope you were inspired and got ideas to create in your own art journal. I would love to see what you're making, so take a picture and post it using hashtag ArtJournalJunction. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button so YouTube knows you want to see more of our mixed media art journaling videos in the future.